how's it going everybody we're back with the phaser i got these two lines in here um today we're gonna try and get <clears throat> the coolant line hooked up and a bunch of other little miscellaneous stuff i've got the metal to close them off um i did bring the exhaust uh i could start making the can for it um as far as the tank goes it was some good advice on the last video's comments uh, to heat it up and reform the tank. The problem with that being I don't have any patience. And I'm pretty sure I overheated it and then I it just, it went bad. It went bad in a hurry. So I think I just need a quick to, quick trip to Lost Viking and I'll see if I can find a, I guess a smaller tank or, um, I might build one. I could build one too. Just weld some aluminum together. But yeah. So as far as the coolant lines go, it's actually not too bad. Um, this is the original top line, and it actually bends pretty good to just to just go in there. Um, I had to cut it down and cut a big chunk off of it, but but uh, the problem with it being that like this hose is the same size as this aluminum line so I'm gonna have to figure something out for that um, not a huge deal this this line is the original off the VMAX and on the VMAX it went down underneath because the inlet to the cooler was back in there uh, it had the front cooler but, so I just turned it around and I'm gonna have to get a barb to barb this hose onto another hose and just run back to that pipe. So that shouldn't be too bad. Um, the, most of my problem is I forgot where most of that stuff goes. Um, but it should be okay. Uh, I should be able to figure it out. Um, so yeah, coolant lines, figure out which wires need to be hooked up, modify the exhaust, and oh, and put the fuel pump in. I brought it over here. Where did I put it? Alright, so I found my fuel pump. Right there. And so it's going to have to go in here somewhere. If it fits on those bolts, that's going to be amazing. It does. Okay, there's a little space here. We can leave that on. Okay, that's almost, that's like too easy. Um, I'll just have to route that in, in line. But yeah, that's, that's nice. So, yeah, I'll just have to get like these clips. All folded back around so my fuel lines aren't. I might have to cut that spacer. The outlets are coming right into the jack shaft. So I think that's what I'll have to do. <clears throat> Alright, guys, so it's the next day. Uh, power actually went out in the shop. And it's kind of hard to do anything with no power. So we got the fuel pump in there. That's looking good. I'll have to cut that little spacer down. And uh, I'm gonna have to get some fuel line. I don't know if I saved this stuff off of the off of the VMAX, but so now I want to get these little plates made so I can close that up, and I can. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to see if I can find a wiring schematic, I guess, um, for all that stuff. 
But for now, let's get this cover made, and uh, yeah, then we'll see where we are. All right, so we got the little plates in here. I think it turned out pretty good. I will paint them. I'm not gonna leave them, you know, bare metal, obviously. Um, I'll paint them when I paint the tunnel. And so I got my pipes in. I just need to adapt this to this size, which might just be me buying a smaller piece of aluminum pipe to go in there and putting that over that and weld it in. As for this other one, I want to set the muffler in there and I realize that's not going to work um, because the muffler's got to be up here so high. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy just some coolant line, some heater hose that, that size. And I think I can just run it forward and down and under and then come back up back here and uh, go to the pipes and I'll still have to do some searching for uh, for a tank but I'm sure there's something out there but yeah and then uh, so next time we'll probably be doing the exhaust this is the old can um yeah that's like it's ridiculous how big this thing is and heavy it's freaking heavy but so what I'm probably going to do is cut here and cut this elbow off and uh, put a pipe in between with a pipe inside and some and some uh, steel wool or something. Uh, I'm going to look it up. I, I've got kind of a design in my head that I'm going to do and I think it'll work. But uh, So we'll have to see. I might actually just cut the whole thing apart and use one of these and just turn it, gut it and turn it and make my own insides. We'll see. That'll be the next video. So, yes, yeah, so we got the fuel fuel pump mounted. I would get some uh, fuel line so I can route that. But yeah, we're getting there. Need to make a mount for this. I was gonna make a mount for this, but I kind of need to figure out what's going on with the fuel tank before I do that. Yeah, coming. Like I said, it's all little particular stuff now, so it's going to slow down a little bit. Well, the videos will be quicker, but it's there's going to be less. It's going to seem like there's less progress, but we'll get there. I'm probably not even going to worry about a seat right now. I just want to get it running. So yeah, if you guys want to keep up with the build hit that subscribe button if you like the video leave a like it's always greatly appreciated and i'll see you guys next time